Section 5.5 Properties of, and Laws of Logarithms. I'll try to get your notes copied. Um, if Sandra comes in, maybe third, fourth block. Properties and Laws of Logs. The same, note the same properties will work on regular, common, and natural logs. So all these, if it, if it works for a common log, it's going to work for a natural log. If it works for a natural log, it's going to work for any type of log. So, uh, basic properties to keep in mind. Some of these you saw yesterday. Um, number one, we, we discussed yesterday, you can only find the log or natural log of a positive. Can't find the log of zero, can't find the log of a negative. The second one, hopefully you know why this is true. The log of any base, and that's the reason I put the B down there. This could be a natural log, common log, base 10, or any type of log. A log with any base of one is always zero. Why is that true? Change forms. Change forms and tell me why this is true. Anything, no, not to the first power. Anything to the zero power equals one. Same thing over here, the natural log, that's E. E to the zero power is one. That's the reason that's true. We know that from Aristide. The third one, log base B of B is always equal to one. That, that's saying like the log base three of three is one. Why is that always true? Yeah, anything to the first power is that number. This would be like she's saying, 3 to the first power would be 3. Same way over here, E, base E raised to the first power is E. Um, this, the base raised to the power over here is equal to this. So does that make sense? B to the first power is going to be B. B to the, yeah, this one would be B to the X power. Uh, these are what I call, call White House problems. Uh, I don't know why. So log base B of B raised to the X power, you had these on your homework. Log base B, if these numbers are the same and it's raised to a power, then it's just plain O, whatever that power is. Same thing here, log base E of E to the X power is going to be like whatever it is. Let me give you some examples of that. You had log base 3 of 3 to the 4th power. That's always going to be 4. If you had the natural log of 5 to the 7th, no. Natural log of e to the seventh power is seven. Because the base is the same thing as the argument, your answer would just be this. The reason for that is the rule that we're going to talk about today. You can move that down front. And we already talked about log base three of three. That was uh, rule number three, right? Log base three of three is always one. Moving down, uh, rule number five. B raised to the log base 3 of X is always X. An example of that. 3 raised to log base 3 of 4 is 4. 5 raised to log base 5 of 10 is 10. Okay, you'll, once you see more of those, those are really easy. Natural logs, that also works for natural log. If you have E to the natural log of 5, because what's the base up here? So you got the same same bases. That's five. That's it. Odd man out's answer. Uh, e to the natural log of six is six. Again, I call them White House problems. Um, white, like the president. Example one. These are easy. These go back kind of to what we did uh, actually yesterday. I don't know why they're thrown into the middle of this. Example 1 says solve the following equations. The natural log of x plus 1 equals 2. The natural log of x plus 1 equals 2. Any ideas? Change forms. That's all you have to do, guys. When, when all else fails, when you don't know what else to do, change forms. Uh, you do, again, this is what Cody was asking about. How, how do you change forms? The base raised to this power is equal to this. So change this, what do you get? So then you just got one extra step. Get the x by itself, how? Minus one, so x is gonna be, and I don't care for you leaving like that. You could type that in your calculator, that's 2.718 squared minus one, or you can use your E button, but I don't care for you leaving it like that. Next one, log of x minus three plus six is nine. Log of, I won't have to close that, x minus three plus six equals nine. Step one, what would y'all do? Not yet. Move the six first. Always clean it up before you change anything. Uh, we can move six over, so log of x minus three is 
three. Now change forms. That's it. X minus three would be ten to the third. The base raised to this power, ten raised to the third power is X minus three. I just put the X minus three step first. It doesn't matter. With me? Last step, X equals, good job, a thousand plus three, Ten to the third. Ten times ten times ten. That's a thousand. Plus three. A thousand three. Questions? Let me close this. Properties, or excuse me, laws of logs now. We talked about some five properties. Now let's talk about there's three laws. You've got a product law, you've got a quotient law, and you've got a power law. Um, first up, the product law says if you have a log of two things being multiplied, that you can split it. The log of V times W is the log of V plus the log of W. This also works for natural logs. Natural log of V times W is natural log of V plus natural log of W. Um, let me show you a real type example. If you have the log of 3 times 5, you can split that into the log of 3 plus the log of 5. Any questions? Here's, here's where people make mistakes. The log of 3 plus 5, can you split that? No. That doesn't follow. It's the log of something times something. You can split apart into an addition problem. So, any questions before we move on? That's your first. That's your product law. It says, given that the log of 3 is this, the log of 5 is this, find the log of 15. Here's how we're going to use it. It says the log of 3 equals the log of 5. Or it says actually approximately because a logarithm of a number is irrational. I didn't tell you all that the other day, but it is. Log of 3 is 0 0.4771. Thank you. 6991. Questions? We're asked to find the log of 15 using those two things. Now, easy way, type log 15 into your calculator. All this is doing, guys, is um, giving you practice using these, these laws. Honestly, this, you would never do. Real life, why in the world would you do this? Because if you've got this and this, obviously you typed it into your calculator to get those. So just type in log of 15. But again, all they're doing here is giving you practice with your logs. Log of 15 is the same thing as the log of what? 3 times 5, right? And, and some people might be saying, why in the world do you split it into 3 times 5? Because I know what the log of 3 and the log of 5 is. That kind of gives you a hint what you're going to split it into. And then use that property or uh, product property I just talked about. Log of 3 times 5 is the same thing as the log of 3 plus log of 5. So therefore, the log of 15 is the same thing as that plus that. Makes sense. So how are you going to find out the log of 15? Log of 3 is this. Log of 15 is this. Yeah, just add them together. Log of what log is the log of 1? Log of what equals one? Um, whatever your base is. If this was, if ten was your, yeah, the log of ten would be one because ten to the first is ten. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, and the log button. So again, let's let's finish this problem up. All we're doing is just the log of three is this, log of five is this, so three plus five. We get 1, 16, carry the 1, 17, carry the 1, 1 point, so what you got, Tina? 1.1761 is the log of 15. And that, I'm glad Cody asked that because that kind of shows you, yeah, the log of 3 is 0.47, the log of 5 is 0.69. It's getting closer to the log of 10, which is 1, and then log of 15 is a little bit over. So it kind of goes up. It's not uh, linear, though, so you got to be careful about that. Um, second law. The log of something divided by something. Well, if you've got multiplication, you're adding them. So log of 3 divided by 5 would be the log of 3 minus the log of 5. And again, don't get it mixed up because a lot of people do like the log of 3 divided by log of 5. Does that fit this? No. The log of something divided by something you can split. A log